So this is starting to look good. We're starting to use variables and loops in our coding, but it's looking a little bit dull so far still, even with everything we're doing. Let's add a spot of colour. Now in Pico 8, there's eight, sorry, there are 16 main colours. And you can see them here. You'll notice that we start counting computers from 0 to 15. I quite like colour 10 here, it's nice bright yellow. So let's change the text to be yellow instead of black. So before I print, let's add a new line in. If you remember from HTML, we have to spell colour the American way. C-O-L-O-R. I don't want colour to be... Colour was about 8, wasn't it? No, 10. So colour, 10 in brackets. When I run my code now, or oh, shortcut key for when you code, control and R we run my code. There we go. My code has changed to yellow. If I change it to another number. It's looking good. A lot of blue even. Still on one colour. What I could do is in there, in that brackets, could I get it to a random number from 1 up to 15? Should I close my brackets there? You can see I've got, in my brackets I've got random, and another set of brackets for 15, that will pick a random between 0 and 15, and keep changing the colour for me. And there we are, that's looking proper old school graphics now. See if you can change the colour. See if you can also put a random colour in for me as well. Let's see what you can create before the end of a lesson.